welcome to today's vlog. This hey. this clip is coming to you from the future. We're currently in Whistler. Um, we're staying at the Westin, which we haven't stayed at in years. Yeah, and for a long time. I forgot how much I love it here. Mm -hmm. We stayed here it for one other, like no, two other, I think, vlogmases. We stayed here. Yeah, at least yeah, two. Yeah, yeah I we think usually, two. Yeah, we often stay at the Hilton, Hilton or they we have stayed the at the Four Seasons. So Last year we did the yeah. Four Seasons, and honestly, I think out of them all, this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I Love the fireplace. Yeah. We we're in like this uh, suite, I guess. It's yeah, like, it's, it's like got an, a separate it's bedroom. Like an apartment. <laughs> it feels more like an apartment than a hotel room. We got it on sale for Black Friday, which was amazing. <laughs> I I figured I should say that because. We, we were on um, yeah. Priceline. We knew we wanted to go to Whistler anyways. We come every year, but we were on Priceline and it was Black Friday. It just so mm -hmm. happened to be Black Friday and it was like heavily discounted. Yeah, it was on other websites. The same room was like $600 and we got it for like 200 Canadian yeah. something dollars a night, which was an incredible deal. So Especially we're like, around this time of yeah. the year when you're closer to Christmas and after Christmas, it gets, it gets just expensive. so expensive. Yeah. yeah, but anyways, I'm digressing. The reason this clip is coming to you from the future is because we actually lost a memory card with the intro footage, like the whole beginning of the vlog. <laughs> so it kind of jumps in just as we're like leaving to go get our Christmas tree. So it might seem a little bit jarring, but I wanted to come on and kind of like give a little bit of an update anyways, because this vlog is coming so late after the last one we posted. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. The last few days have been challenging. I tried to get ahead as much as I could before taking time off from work, but there were just certain assets I was waiting on that I couldn't actually um, get ahead on a lot of things until I had them. So I ended up working until 11 o'clock last night, which was unfortunate because our first night here. Very long. <laughs> was this like a 14, 15 hour day? That's yeah, crazy. it was a very long day. Yeah. And but I'm off now, which is very exciting. We're in Whistler, so the next vlog will be our like Whistler vlog. We got our Christmas tree, which you guys will see. Just wanted to say I'm really sorry that I've been MIA the past few days. This year was a little bit more challenging for me to get ahead as much as I needed to for work. I started prepping in the middle of October, but that didn't really help me out much because I still ended up like working super late last night and it's kind of normal often like not the thing with like prepping for like months to like take time off but um, it's normal <clears throat> that the day before you go on vacation I think those days are the busiest the day before you yeah. go on vacation or days and the days after when you come back and everything kind of hits you <laughs> yeah and there's another thing the days that we were getting our Christmas tree ended up being just searching for Christmas trees literally oh, spending yeah. entire days driving around <laughs> Vancouver to try to find a Christmas tree um, which you guys will see but yeah so anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get into the vlog yeah it's not the future, actually. It is the future. No, it's not the future. When they watch oh, it, it's the past for them. Yeah. When they watch it, but it's a more recent past. Oh, yeah, than and then the today past. is the present, because this is going up today. Oh, yeah. Oh. But also the past. Yeah, so it's like, because actually, have... <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Yeah, it'll be the past if you watch it. Yeah, okay, This you're really tripping me out here. <laughs> but anyways, this is, the, this is going up the actual day of... The future's present's past. No, we have to stop this. <laughs> All right, vlog update from the car. This is actually, I think, the first time I've left my house since Vlogmas started. It's weird because I like get stuck editing basically until late in the evening, and then like by the time I'm done editing, everything's closed usually. We're on our way to the Christmas tree lot. It is seven o'clock, and they close at eight. In the past, they used to close at nine, and so I think I'm still just mentally not used to them closing an hour earlier. And I was at home editing and I realized, I was like, wait a second, I actually have to leave. We have to go get the tree. It's usually such a hassle for me to get a tree. And normally I'm going to the Christmas tree lot every night, looking for new trees, looking for new trees, waiting for new trees to come. All right, we are here. Let's see if they have any options. It's not looking good. These are very tiny. I wonder if we should go just drive to the Burnaby lot. What do you think? This one's very skinny. You can almost see through it. This is, I would say, much fuller. If you can move them, there's an issue. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We're trying to pull off Mission Impossible right now. We are on our way to a second tree lot, but that tree lot closes in six minutes. Less than that now. It's not looking good. How tall did you say this one was? Eight. So what do you want me to do? Well, I want to see how tall it looks. Okay. <laughs> 
So it is the next day. This was our first Vlogmas fail. Yesterday was like my Christmas with the cranks day. I just, everything was not working out. Mm. I was having a horrible time. So we made it like a quick meal. I was exhausted. We went up to bed. I worked on the vlog, edited yesterday's vlog. So now- We were so exhausted. Yeah, we were so exhausted. It is now Vlogmas day six, otherwise known as- Nikolaus Tag. Nikolaus Tag. So what in did- In Germany, obviously. What <laughs> did Nikolaus Canada. get me? <laughs> Thank you. I think there might be something from Nikolaus for you behind the tree. House of CB? The packaging is gorgeous. I've never ordered from them before. I've never seen this. I wonder if this is just for the holidays. Wow, that's stunning. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I got something too. It's full of flock. Full of flock. How is that even possible? What did I get? Oh, wow. A new Hugo Boss sweater. That's it's amazing. Full of flock. It's take... like the other one that I it's have. The one that you had. That... Oh, it's the one. It's the oh, same yeah. One. My favorite uh, Hugo boss sweater and it got little holes and I was like really sad about it yeah and um, still trying to like that's make it work amazing. <laughs> I had to, he, like, to made me, those holes he made me like, like go... so sad yeah he was so sad because he loves this thank um, you you're welcome it had like a couple micro holes in it and he like yeah. made me stitch try to them. stitch them with that's so sad yeah because we couldn't find it we tried to find the <laughs> sweater again couldn't find it and then I went in yesterday and found it so what did you get me I I feel like I remember asking you for something from house of CB like a long time ago but I don't remember what it is Let's check it out and see if hopefully that's what you were asking for <laughs> wow it's very heavy <gasps> the dress that was the one that you the wanted the dress right? Yes, the one that that girl had. So beautiful. It looks like a princess yeah. dress. I mean, it's more for summer. No, it's so like, a, like a Gap sweater. It's just, it looks <laughs> at first like it's for summer. But, but it's actually for winter. winter. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's more like a summer dress, but it looks like a princess dress. On, I'll, I'll add a photo here. It's so pretty. It literally looks like you are a Disney princess. It just has that kind of bell vibe yeah. to it. It's got like, like a poofy skirt on it. It's so beautiful. Thank you. You're I welcome. can't believe you remember. Did you make a note or something? No. No, I just remember. <laughs> This is so perfect. I can't wait to try it on. Sebastian has to leave for a hair appointment. I have a meeting. Oh yeah, we didn't even update what we were having for lunch or anything like that. It's been a crazy day. I think also tonight, I'm gonna try to do some like admin, which means I'm gonna go back through all my videos, respond to all the comments. It feels so bad. I've, I've like literally, my thumbnails are garbage. I've not even like changed the brightness or contrast whenever I export my videos. I just have no time this year. I think every year it gets a little bit tighter and tighter and tighter with the time I have available. Dinner time. We're gonna make the miso pod. We got some asparagus. I started snacking on Pringles earlier, so I'm not super hungry. You also did. So I'm not super hungry. I was gonna initially make it with rice, but I don't even think we need to. I saw a beautiful plating and it had asparagus with the fish. And I think that might be a nice way to have it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do some steamed asparagus. Oh, pretty purple. Yeah, this is the most esteemed asparagus. The most esteemed asparagus? Yeah, yeah. I love oh. all the ones that are so esteemed. <laughs> <laughs>
This is insane. The yeah. first time I made it, I didn't know that you're supposed to broil it. It was a long time ago. It wasn't Nobu's recipe, but it's so good. Wow. This is like 100% make it. The fish is so good. 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. 10.5 out of 10. You love it? Yeah. Now do you see why sable fish is one of my favorite foods? Yeah. It's so good. Okay, so also I will say I'm glad we waited a little bit to marinate it for longer. Now it's a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't know what it tastes like without it. Well, I, I, it's so flavored though it's that I would assume it's not as flavored if you don't do that, you know? I'm glad we waited. Definitely try this out. I don't think you'd be disappointed. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's later. We just finished doing Sebastian's hair. <laughs> we have to tone it still. It's very, very bright right now. He got a haircut today, and so like half of it was blonde, and then the other half was like his natural color. So <laughs> it's like, he looked like a hedgehog a bit. Okay, I'm not sure where we were because we spotted a spider and we had to take it outside. <laughs> <laughs> it was essential. You know what's funny? I think it's funny that you actually hate spiders more than I do. No, I do hate spiders. You hate them. But also, they're everywhere here. <laughs> Our house is right next to a river, and I think that's kind of like. And we have a uh, cedar wood, or no, what is oh, it? Oh, yeah, cedar, like yeah. the outside cedar. Yeah, and so then it attracts them. them. So we have spiders everywhere around the house. Anyway, yeah, so we had to get rid of the spider. I don't remember what I was saying, but the drink I wanted to make was um, a drink that had rum chata in it, and then we forgot to buy the rum chata. So we're gonna improvise. We're making something else. We have the stuff that we bought for last year's Vlogmas. And we actually made quite a few drinks out of this after because we really liked the drink that we made. Remember the one that we had in the Whistler restaurant, um, El Caminetto, that it was like yeah. lemon, it was limoncello. It was so good. Whipping cream and, mm -hmm. and this, so good. So we're gonna make a drink with this. It's got liqueur 43, Kahlua, Bailey's, I think it has vodka, but let's just leave the vodka Again? out. Let's leave the vodka out. We'll just do the Kahlua, Bailey's and this, and then whipping cream and you shake yeah. it up and then you have it like that. So okay. that sounds really good to me. because the whipped cream is going to melt. I realized it's in a cold drink. It's not going to melt. Sante. Oh, so good. Mm, that is really good. I can't imagine adding vodka to this as well. What I mean is, is it's strong enough. Mm -hmm. It's strong, but it's so good. It I is love so it. Good. Very, it tastes like Bailey's and Kahlua to me though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think if I wanted to do it again, I would maybe do like a, like half a shot of Bailey's, half a shot of Kahlua, and maybe like two shots of the, or like a shot and a half of the liqueur 43 so I could actually taste it. Because I think the Bailey's and the Kahlua is just so prominent. Yeah. I don't mind it though. The whipped cream is really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. What I was gonna say is, it's very, I feel like it's very strong, but I mean like not in a bad way because Kahlua and Bailey's are like drinkable even without anything. I also added an additional shot of just regular milk too. So it's got whipping cream mm. and it has regular milk. Oh my God, yours is almost done. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Do you feel like it's adequately changed that we can name it? I'm trying to think, mm. like maybe like a melted snowman? Yeah. Because it a... looks like the whipped cream. Oh my god. It kind of like when the, the snowman gets That's old. such a great idea because... Because the chocolate, it looks like the mud when it melts. Yes. Really? You like, like the it? the dirt from the road. Yeah. yeah. It looks exactly like a melted snowman. I think I think the booze just went to your head. You know? No. <laughs> so excited about the name. Because when you, you look at it, it right? you look into the glass and you see the whipping cream and you see some of the, of the brown powder and it looks exactly like in winter when you have the snow on the road and then there's the salt and the dirt mixed into the snow and that's exactly what it looks like and it looks kind of flattened like there was a snowman that melted. Really good. Mm -hmm. So good. It's the best recommend. one so far. Really? Yeah. Yay. That one was just kind of, you know what, you know what's funny? I asked ChatGPT, I was like, I want to make a drink with liqueur 43, what should I make it with? And they gave me a bunch of like ideas and then I was like, wait, I have this one. I have Bailey's, I have vodka, I have Kahlua, I have the Core 43, I have mil I have whipping cream, it said ice. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that without the, the vodka. But I looked up recipes on the website, looked up recipes online, couldn't find anything. It was ChatGPT that came wow. up. Wow. Yeah, but I think I changed it enough that we could name it because I think it was actually called something Spanish. It was like Spanish 
cream something. Like I said, in the kitchen, it's apparently the number one liqueur in Spain. I had never heard of it until we had it um, last year. There was other ones on there where you just have like a shot of the liqueur 43 with milk and you shake it up and have it like that. Which okay, we can try that. How you can try it the most pure yeah. way, but I thought that wasn't as exciting or interesting. Mm. You can have it, it's very sweet. Not very sweet, but like, you know what you're getting into if you have Bailey's and Kahlua. It's kind of like a snowman Russian. No, what's it called? Like a white... A Russian snowman. A white snowman. A Russian, melted, a Russian melted, snowman. Melted Russian snowman. A melted Russian snowman. No, because it's like a white Russian with like yeah. a Kahlua. Okay, so it's the next day. We are at the Christmas tree lot. It's like 12.30, right? Or what time is it? Yeah, around that time. Yeah, 12.50. Oh, 12.50, damn. All right, let's pray, 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 pray we get our tree. It is the day that they're supposed to be getting in a shipment of like 70. It looks like they have more ground furs and I can definitely smell them it's like the first thing you smell when you get out of the car <laughs> you want to grab this one found one no oh, i don't that know one looks pretty full it looks full but is it the same one from the other night it kind of seems like it might be this is not that tall it's it's kind of well, full. it's not really let's, that full. let's think about it this way you're gonna put it on that thing again yeah right so it's gonna be like this yeah but it's not that full i feel like oh. it's still kind of it's a little thin let's keep looking okay there might be some under here i see some like stacked whoa this one looks very full but it's so short hey it's eight okay but i want to get a i want to get one that's really full all right let's see let's see what else they've got they have a couple that are a little bit taller but just not stupid. what about this one here it looks full and it looks like it might be tall not that one <laughs> this one might be the one i don't i think we need to open some up to get a better idea all right so far this is our stack that we're probably gonna consider this one is definitely the most full so it's probably gonna be the nicest in terms of shape but it's the shortest it's just not that much taller than me you know is this my tree <laughs> so this is the type you want to decide yeah tall and no wide. the type of tree the big, grand fur. oh yeah grand fur yes so what do you think of that looks great i like the height but it's a, i think the other one might be a fuller the other yeah. one i'm wondering maybe we go fuller like with i don't know i think this one might be the most full all right, we got a tree. It doesn't feel like the one, but we have a tree. We're gonna go to a couple other tree lots to see if we find something better. This is definitely the best tree out of the ones that we've seen so far. And the other night when we came, there was basically nothing. So at least we have a tree. And even if we have to buy like another tree, it's not a big deal to me because this is a charity. So I never feel bad about spending the money here. I mean, in the past, we would always buy like a couple trees anyways. So this, it's not like it's a, a loss or anything like that. Um, but I do want to see if we can find something better. So we're going to go to another tree lot. They might've also gotten trees in today. This is the last shipment before Christmas though, I think. So if there is a tree, it will only be today that we'll probably be able to find it. So, so so that's going to be it for the vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, it was kind of all over the place and we're going to be vlogging again today. And if we get another tree, I guess you will see in that video if we end up finding something better than the one you guys ended up seeing just now. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Christmas.